recording. Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. Um, I really miss you all. It's been hard being at home all day, but just know that this isn't going to last forever. So hopefully we can get outside sooner rather than later. I hope your families are well. More importantly, I hope you are well, your friends are well. Um, I hope that you're keeping in touch with people. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy for you and it's definitely not easy for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to jump into today's assignment. Um, if you completed the previous assignment, you know we started talking about banking. Okay, so today we're going to talk about making deposits. Um, so I made this PowerPoint and it's focusing on how you count your money um, and it should be interesting. Okay, uh, so the first slide that you see says making deposits and the first instruction says count the money, type the amounts in each slide. Okay, so if we go to the second slide, you will see, and it's number one, the similar slide from to the first one, but instead of instructions, you have money here. So just in case you're not sure of what this is and what these are, we're going to go down to the bottom, and we're just going to do a quick lesson on U.S. currency. All right, so the first one we have is a penny, right? We usually call it a penny, you could call it one cent, uh, this is the symbol, or it could be written like this. The next is a nickel, five cents, and it could also be written like these. A dime, ten cents, it could be written like this. A quarter, twenty-five cents. And let's look at some bills. Okay, so you have a dollar bill, five dollar bill. $10 bill, $20 bill, $50 bill, and $100 bill. Okay, so some of the people on the bills, um, just a quick note if you don't know, that's George Washington, he's Abraham Lincoln, Alexander Hamilton, Andrew Jackson, uh, Ulysses Grant, and Benjamin Franklin. Okay, so if you're not sure of what each coin represents, you can come back to the end of this slide to check. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do number one with you first, um, and then you will take the time to move on to the others on your own. Okay, so making deposits. So I see my bank. I see a $50 bill. Um, I see, I think this is a nickel, and I see some pennies. Oh, what you also are are going to need is a probably a notebook and paper so that you can calculate uh, the coins and bills so it's easier so you don't get it wrong or just have a calculator okay so I am going to I don't have my paper I can't put it on screen so I'm just going to pull up a file so you can see me doing my math okay so I had let's see how can we make this easier for you to see it was 50 50 dollar bill right and then what did we have five cents that over so it's easier so you can see that might be a little more easier to understand so again you don't have to type this on a piece of paper you can write it on a piece of paper or just do it in your calculator if that's easier and then we have how many pennies one two three four five so a penny is one cent and I have five so that means I have five cents and that is five there so I need to calculate this so I'm going to add it so if we bring the 50 down we just see 50 let me get my dollar sign 50 and then we want to add 
the five cents, five plus five is 10. And so my total is $50.10. So I am going to type my answer here where, where it says type here, okay? So I need to select this and then I'm going to write 50 dollars and 10 cents. Okay, if you want to write out the word 50, you can do that if you want to. Um, you All you need to do is go to insert, uh, select text box, click where you want to put it. Instead of writing the 50 in numerical format, you can write it in word format. So you write F-I-F-T-Y, $50.00. And I'm going to go back to insert, get a text box, and then I'm going to write 10 cents. You do not have to do both. You do not have to do both. You only have to do it one time. If you want to write it uh, in numerical form, please by all means do that. If you want to write it on in word format, you can do that too. Okay? So I hope that helps. You have about you have 10 slides to work on I think that should be enough right so this is your only assignment for today um, I hope you are doing well take care we miss you I miss you have a good one until next time